Hello everyone, I'm Ace of Clubs Kid, and today I thought I might kind of talk about a topic that I think people have kind of going on in their head a lot or have asked on the internet, and that is, um, you know, something along the lines of should I get a tablet or should I get uh, like a handheld gaming system, like a PS Vita or, or like a Nintendo 3DS or something along those lines, um, and you know, that kind of thing. So I thought I might sort of talk about that and talk about what your options are if you do decide to buy a tablet, um, you know, either an Android. This is an Android, of course, um, an Asus Transformer TF101, um, or like an iPad. And I'll kind of talk about the things you can do with both of those. So I guess just to, to we'll save this for a little bit. Um, starting off with an iPad, you're pretty much just going to be able to. Um, play the regular App Store games. You're not really going to be able to have a whole lot outside of that unless, of course, you decide to jailbreak it, which, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, that is kind of a lot of work and does slow your device down. Um, in my experience, I, you know, having jailbroken two iPods and so yeah, I think it's it's just kind of more than it needs, more work that needs to be done and there's not really, it's not always reliable if everything's gonna work, you know, like there's, there's no guaranteeing that certain apps are gonna work, like if you wanna play N64 games, for example. Um, however, on an Android, you're gonna have a lot better experience for that kind of thing. Now, I don't want this to turn into, and you know, a whole Apple versus Android thing. I personally do prefer Androids, but if you like uh, iPads or, you know, Apple in general more, that's just fine. This is just my opinion, and, you know, I guess a couple of facts about how things are run on here. So I'm going to turn this light off so you can see a bit better. And some of you may be a bit confused because... Alright, let me turn this light back on for just a second. Some of you may be a bit confused about this. You know, it looks like a, a laptop, but this is actually a tablet. Um, as you can see, this is just a docking station. Um, it's sold separately than th from the device for an extra about $100. Um, so I just thought I might clear that up before I got any questions. Once again, this is the Transformer, uh, the, the Asus Transformer. So let's zoom into the screen a bit. And I'm sorry that my camera is not the best, but bear with me. Um, so first of all, let's talk about N64 games. Let's say you want to go play N64 games. All you have to do is go on to the Play Store, type in, and I can barely see my keyboard, uh, N64, wait, oops, sorry, that did not go, uh, okay, N64, wait, there it came right up. <laughs> okay, wow, this is not, okay, I have to click apps first, sorry. Um, click games, and then we'll look at it. N64, wait should come up. There we go. Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry about that before. But as you can see, we have um this is a free N64 emulator. Um this one's kind of glitchy. I do recommend N64 right over this and it didn't quite pop up there, but um it does normally. <laughs> I'm just not quite sure. I think I spelled it wrong or whatever. But uh, just for sake of example, that's how you get it. No jailbreaking required. Um, N64 Oid costs six dollars, and you can also get the free N64 Oid or X64 emulator, which is just called N64 emulator. And uh, here you can see it is here. Um, N64 emulator. Uh, open it up, and this does work through CoolROM.com, which is really cool because you don't have to go to some weird site, like, I, I know, I, I tried to do this on my Kindle Fire, and you had to go to, like, doperom.com, and it was, it, it was just, like, a really weird site. Um, let's just run Super Mario 64. I'll show you how this works. I've actually been playing this quite a bit, so I'll show you my progress here. We'll load the last game. And you can see I'm already, I already have 10 stars. I've been playing this for a while. I'm... You know, I've beaten Bowser and all that kind of stuff. For all of you that actually have played this game and know what I'm talking about. Um, and the controls are pretty comfortable. You know, the, the screen's big enough to where, you know, nothing's annoying. Um, it is slightly larger than an iPad screen at 10.1 instead of 9.7 inches. So, you know, once again, not trying to turn this into a, a big fight about that, but, you know, it is slightly larger. Okay, 
so that's that. And uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, let's let's close down some of these just to give you the full experience. Um, I'll go and try to show you some of the other some of the other stuff here. And unfortunately, with this version, this is the um, the free version, so you get prompted with um, this. Um, you get that little ad to pop up all the time. Um, not all the other apps work quite so well. Uh, I'll show you Super Smash Brothers. It's it's kind of inconsistent. Sometimes it works fine. Um, other times, this may be one of the times. Okay, it's actually loading. Oh, great. Okay. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a matter of the ROMs. Some of them, you know, they're they're corrupted ROMs. As you can see, the only thing you may have noticed this is that the characters don't actually have faces, which is actually really fun to me. But um, other than that, it doesn't affect the actual play. And there's kind of a problem with loading the background. But like I said, this is not like the device's fault or anything. I don't think this is the app's fault either. I think it has to do with the ROMs and the fact that emulation is kind of just a tricky thing and just froze. Yeah, so this is just an example of one of those ROMs that's, you know, it's kind of sketchy. It doesn't always work. Um, I think I'll, that's about it. I can pretty much guarantee that Super Mario 64 is going to work fine because I've also done that on a Mac. I've got an N64 emulator, and it works fine on there. And like I said, because I think it's the ROMs themselves, I think that that's really what the thing is. Um, I also thought I might show you that maybe if you're more of a um, Xbox gamer, I'm just covering this up because my email is shown. I don't want to get spam mail. Um, this is how you play Xbox games. And, you know, things like Assassin's Creed and Batman Arkham City, all of these can be played on your device. And you can also hook up a Bluetooth uh, controller, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, you can use the keyboard, you know, like I said, this has a keyboard on it, you can use that to control. This is going a bit slow because, as you may see by the bottom, um, I have very low Wi-Fi strength because I'm in the furthest room in my house from the uh, router. So that's a side note. Um, okay, so basically I'll show you the marketplace, all the games that you have here. You can you can see there's Darksiders 2, you can play this on here. All these are playable. And for a pretty reasonable price, I, I have to say, Arkham City costs $7. I can't remember what, um, what Darksiders costs, um, but you know, there's kind of more specified videos. I have seen people play Portal on Android devices. I'm not sure if it was through this, but I think it was. I just, the search function isn't working too well for me. But nonetheless, that's how you play Xbox games. And, you know, just in those two things alone, that's a pretty big uh, variety of games. Um, also, for a third option, this is actually a specific tablet. Uh, it's the Sony Tablet S. If you do decide to opt for that tablet, um, it's that tablet costs, I believe, $400 new. Um, no, it's $350, I believe. Okay, I've seen them for various prices. Don't quote me on either of those. I think it's $400, but I've seen them for various prices in different places. Um, and yeah, so um, basically, that is a, uh, being a Sony tablet, it's, optimized to play PlayStation games. So you can do all the things that I've just shown you. You can still play Xbox games and that kind of thing. You can still play N64 games, but you can also play PlayStation games. And there's some that are preloaded on there, and you can also get more in this um, type of app store that they have. And you also have the um, Play Store on there too. So that's a really good option for gaming. It is a slightly smaller screen. I believe it's 9.6 inches. It's really not that big of a difference. You know, it's, it's like 0.5 inches, which is not going to be very noticeable, but, um, yeah, I mean, th these are all good options, um, you know, I'm just, I think, in my opinion, I don't really think there's much arguing that an Android tablet is a very good experience, um, in terms of mobile, mobile gaming, turn that light back on, um, if you're looking for a device that's going to be a bit, you know, faster, if you just, if you don't really care about the whole PlayStation games and all that, um, one device that I can tell you is very fast is the Asus Transformer Prime, which is the newest model of this, and it has a quad-core processor, it's very fast, 
and um, I saw a video of a, a convention where they were running a you know a full Xbox game. I can, cannot remember for the life of me what it was. It might have been Dark Siders or something like that. But they had a um, Xbox controller plugged in, and it was going through a monitor, and there was no lag at all. Um, so it's a great gaming experience, and you know it, it's just a really great tablet for that. Um, also, look at the Project Fiona Razer tablet too. That is a very interesting tablet. I don't believe it's hit the market yet. I haven't seen it anywhere, but that's a gaming designated tablet. Um, with that being said, I hope this was a useful video for you guys. I'm Isa Clubskid, and I will see you later.